Alright, hey you guys. Today, I will be showing you how to install packages and apps from Cydia to your iPod Touch slash iPhone without Wi-Fi. First, all you, all you need is a computer, um, PC, whatever, and internet connection. And first you will need to download a file called Cider exe extract that and then I'll and then I'll show you what to do and make sure your iPod touch is connected right now so um let's get to it yeah and um I will have the download link in the description box and if you don't have the sources already installed on your um on your iPod Touch slash iPhone yet from Cydia then you can copy and paste the sources from my description box so yeah or if you do I'll show you how to get them on your how to transfer them to your PC okay first when you open the folder um, the only thing you'll see is this right here um, all of this will come after when you first launch the um, program so we'll open Cider up run it's running and this can only be done on jailbreaking jailbroken iPhones and iPod touch right now I'm using 3.0 um I have found out um that sometimes that um when it has like a newer version it won't like upgrade it like cuz it'll say like say there's like something that's point .2 but then it just got a new update to point .3 it'll, it'll say point .3 but it'll still be point .2 so um, I don't know if they're gonna get that fixed um, maybe it's just because um, it's a new upgrade just came out and stuff um, I'm not sure so um so this is sources all these sources make sure you have sources because without sources you can't download anything so um right now it's loading packages as you can see um so if you don't have sources already installed on your ipod touch slash iphone just copy and paste them from my description box and um paste them right here and then um press this add button this plus sign and make sure it's check marked wherever it's gonna be. Um, alright. And this is packages, sources, packages, synchronization, and settings. And this is where you can get all your apps and whatnot, everything. And this is your synchronize, synchro, um, your sync page. So if you already have sources on your iPod Touch because you installed stuff already using Wi Fi, then you're gonna click this arrow. If you have it because you don't have Wi-Fi, so you can't install anything, um, use this arrow to copy the um, sources that you just copy and paste from my description box to your iPod Touch. So um, in settings, you can just check mark whatever you want it to do at the beginning. Um, you don't really have to check mark any of them unless you want to um it does make things a little easier um so let's um get a game um let's see uh games all right um let's get Um, Mario Pong. Let's get this. And just check mark the black box if you want to download that. And click this download icon. And here's the download bar. And so it's done now. Go to your sync page. Um, here's all the stuff I downloaded. Once you transfer these to your iPod Touch, you can just delete them right here if you don't need them anymore. Um, so let's select Mario Pong. 
and tr click this arrow button. Make sure it's the auto install folder. So yeah. And it's already there. It just transferred. Um, sometimes it takes like a few seconds. It depends on if it's a big file or not. Um, yeah. Oh, and make sure, as I said before, I probably, I think I said it. Make sure your iPod Touch slash iPhone is connected before you open Cider. Uh, I'm not sure if this works on the new iPhone 3GS yet. So, yeah. But right now I'm using 3.0 firmware, so that it works. So after you after it's it show it pops up right here, you can either shut down your cider or you can just go to your iPod. Okay. First, um it's not gonna be on there right now. It's not gonna show up or anything. First you have to respring your device. Um if you have SP settings. Oh, get it okay you have SB settings then you know that um, you can pop up your menu and click the respring button and it'll um, it will like restart the springboard um, and stuff and you gotta do that two times if you don't have SB settings all you have to do is hold the um, power button at the top for like six or seven seconds and just wait for the thing to pop up the, and it says slide to power off just slide the power off, and um, just wait. To, just wait for it to turn off, and do this two times. Just it's the same thing as respring, but yeah. So do this two times. So this is the first one, and you'll know when it's turned off. Obviously, when it's done with all of this, and if you ever turned it off before, then you know. So, and. It just made the noise on my computer. So now we're going to turn it back on. Apple logo sign comes up. Yeah. And I said, as I said before, you need to copy and paste the sources onto Cider. Um, because without the city of sources, it won't know what packages to install. And if you already have them installed on your iPod, go to your sync page and click the arrow that has the iPod first and then an arrow and then a computer or the or if you didn't um get, if you don't have any from your iPod touch and you copy and paste then choose the one with the computer and the um, little in the arrow and then the iPod touch um and now it's turning on uh it's not done yet um kind of takes a while uh, yeah, yeah, okay, now it's done. Um, as you can see, you don't see Mario Pong anywhere, so that's why we do it two times. But you can check to make sure if it's there on the first time, but I'm pretty sure that you have to do it two times because that's how it works for me. And yeah, and there it goes. And as I said, as I said before, if you have SP settings, you can respring it twice. Um, I think respringing it is faster. Oh, I'm not sure. It's about it's the same thing, but I think it's faster. But yeah, and I think it's turned off. Oh, sorry about that. My thing cut off. Um, and so yeah, and this is the second um, time I turned it off and turned it back on. So hopefully um, Mario Pond will come up. Um, I am pretty sure it will um, because I've done this about five times. All right. Um. kind of blurry and there it is uh... can't i don't know if you can read it uh... I'm, uh my camera can't do that but yeah see super mario pong uh... don't allow anyway see you guys next time don't forget to rate comment subscribe oh yeah